Hey y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae Angelette if you are new here. And can we please just take a moment of silence to appreciate the highlighter that is on this face? Mm hmm Yes, ma'am. She's looking shiny. Today's video is such an exciting topic for me to share with you. I am going to be discussing my top current five favorite highlighters. They're very different from each other. And just to give myself a little tiny bit of credibility, I would like for y'all to see how many highlighters I've had to try over the years to arrive at these top five favorites. Are you ready? You? You? Okay. We have Kat Von D. We have Urban Decay. We have Lancome. We have a MAC highlighter. We have another MAC highlighter. And yet another MAC highlighter. We have Lancome. We have a Wet n Wild highlighter. We have a gorgeous Milani highlighter, one of my favorite palettes, Anastasia Beverly Hills. We have Maybelline Master Chrome. Oh look, another Maybelline Master Chrome. Oh, there's more, another Maybelline Master Chrome. We have a Becca highlight, who remembers Champagne Pop from Jaclyn Hill. Mm. So beautiful. Another Becca highlighter. We have three highlighters that are liquid from Cover FX. We have a Josie Marin highlighter. We have a Wet n Wild highlighter. Another Wet n Wild highlighter. Oh, look, another Wet n Wild highlighter. <laughs> we have a Stila Cosmetics highlighter. We have a Broken Mirror Stila highlighter. And we have a NARS highlighter. We have a Jordana Stick highlight. And we have two Physicians Formula Butter highlighters. So that's a little to like glimpse into, I would say probably about 90% of the highlighters that I have. I do have some that are in my car and some that I left at a friend's house. So yeah, your girl is cuckoo. Okay, on to the most amazing part. The very first highlighter that I would like to share with you as part of my top five is my absolute favorite. It's kind of my signature highlight, if you could have a signature highlight when you're not even famous, but you're famous in your own head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the Rihanna, the Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the color Trophy Wife. Boo, when I saw that she released this highlighter, I was standing in line waiting to get it, and it did not disappoint. Now, I would absolutely start off by saying that this highlighter is most suitable for medium to darker skin tones. It's actually what I'm wearing now, and it gives me the most passion and everything that I want in a highlighter. It actually is kind of a yellow gold, and I don't want to say kind of, because that is yellow gold. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, so if you have a boyfriend or husband or fiance or, you know, a partner, I would not go rubbing your face on their face, boo. It just doesn't come off. The sparkle stays forever. It's absolutely a lot less intimidating when you fan it out with a brush, but I wanted to show you the intensity of the color. This is hands down currently my number one. She stays in my purse. Just in case I get stranded somewhere, I wanna make sure I have a really beautiful highlight. <laughs> The second one that I want to talk about, I get asked about a lot, and I actually stole this tip from Jaclyn Hill and a couple of other YouTubers and makeup artists have mentioned it over the years, and I chewed on it for a while, so I just take my word for it, even if you and I aren't friends in real life, this is seriously a highlighter that every person can benefit from. It's the Hourglass. And this is the Ambient Lighting Palette. It is so subtle. 
Okay, it, you, it comes with three different colors, and even though in the pan they appear very dark, they actually just give a very subtle, if you can see, glow to the skin. And the like, it, it's almost as if you're not really wearing anything, but yet someone is confused when they stare at your face like, huh, she's kind of glowing. But as you can see, basically what this does is it just gives kind of like, I've been drinking a lot of water. I have a nice glow from within. This tip, they talk about, they, a lot of makeup artists use this for brides. And if you just wanna have this glow, I take a big old fluffy brush. This is a Morphe or, or, or R2 brush. I run it through the entire palette tap off a little bit of the excess, and then I go over my entire face just to make it look like I have sort of a healthy glow and that I've been drinking more water than I actually am and that I'm glowing from within. Um, you can find this at Sephora. Also, you can find the Rihanna Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter at Sephora as well. Moving along to another really amazing drugstore product. This is Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Highlighter. These are cream to powder formulas, and this particular shade is my favorite one from the range. This is the Rose Gold shade, and it looks like this. It's very metallic and extremely cool okay that was dramatic it's cooler to the touch but when you put this on the skin this is a blinding highlight this is eleven dollars at ulta at cbs walmart target don't even try to sleep on these. I hate that saying, but I've been saying it so much lately because it's true. Every time I go to get one, they're sold out in places. I believe there are five colors. I have this, I also have the champagne color, and I also have the pink color. They smell like coconut and you can layer this. So you can just wear this on no makeup days or you can wear this and put some powder on top of it, but it will not disrupt disrupt or budge your makeup, which is so nice about it, even though it has that unique consistency to it. Now, the number four highlighter that I'm absolutely blown away by is another drugstore product. Girl, the drugstore. This is Maybelline Master Chrome, and this is in the shade 100 Molten Gold. It is metallic, and it says that it's um, creamy, and that I can't even explain to you how creamy this particular product is. Look at this. That is a drugstore highlighter. Yes, it is. Yes, ma'am. They also have a rose gold color. There's a new topaz color that's out. And there's also a new peach that just launched. So, mm hmm you might want to go check that out real fast. And then finally, I am obsessed with this palette only because it serves my need for having really cuckoo crazy highlight. As you can tell, I am not shy. But these colors, this is the Anastasia Glow Kit in, and it's called the Dream Glow Kit. Look at these colors. Okay, I wanna, my favorite one is Unicorn. As you can see, I've used it just a little bit. But even though this appears to be pink in the pan, as you can clearly see, it looks pink, right? When you go to put this on your face, it is purple. I put it and focus it on my cheek area and then I slide it up and it's kind of crazy because when you just put it on your cheeks and then you look away, everyone's like, ooh, super pretty. Pair this with blue, a blue top or a purple top or even white if you just want this luminous glow to your skin. Now, don't get me wrong, there's other really pretty colors in the palette, but this particular one, Unicorn, is one of my favorites, and I use it a few times a week. So there you have my five top favorite highlighters. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and also give me a little comment below to let me know what highlighters you are obsessed with. Obviously, I have a highlighter problem, and um, I don't care. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a fabulous day. Sending you big hugs. Bye.